Spinello in Fongo. Fighting out of Shuriken MMA. In the lightweight bout. Yeah, sporting a good record here, Justin. 11 bouts, uh, nine of those uh, resulting in a victory for him. Rates himself as a stand up fighter. Certainly looks a bit long and arranging. Long legs, long arms, super fit. Making the walk down. Still early in his career, yeah. Only two bouts to his name. Fighting out of Carlson Gracie Durbin, coached by David Fister. When did they make the official name change from Lions Den? I believe it's uh, currently still in um, transition. So would it be Lions Den, Den slash Lions Den, home of Carlson Gracie Jiu Jitsu? Okay, okay. Well, uh, thanks to Dave, I did meet Ken Shamrock, so I'm pretty stoked with that. Did you... Uh... You didn't run it, No. This bout is scheduled for three three-minute rounds in the MFC lightweight division. And your referee for this bout will be Dario Campos. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This athlete weighs in at 69.5 kgs and holds a record of one win and one loss. Training out of Carlson Grace Durban, Sianda Tlatswa! His opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This athlete weighs in at 70 kgs and holds a record of nine wins and two losses. Training out of Shuriken MMA, Siobonero Mthongo! Once again, the Ring Girls brought to you by Alexander Kruth, painters and renovators since 1964. Right, Justin, your predictions here. I think the good sport of MMA will win. Wow. You know... Moonlight walks and candlelit dinners, Justin. You know, it's difficult to say. You know, you'd think that the I, bigger camps would win. You know what I mean? To be honest, these are two athletic guys. I think, oh, but dirty that. Reaching for that love touch and coming over with the right hand. You know, people say that's dirty, and it's like you have to defend yourself at all times. Yeah, you do, but you know what? It's unsportsmanlike, not dirty. Yeah. Either way... Fights on the ground now, Sienda with full guard, looking to lock up an armbar possibly, maybe a triangle. Just hanging off for dear life maybe? Yeah, Sienda's still pretty uh, fresh in his uh, MMA career, but uh, a lot of heart, a lot of talent with the boy, a lot of um, He's annoyed now. athleticism. I'd be annoyed. Yeah, I would too. Listen, I'm, I'm not defending his action by any means. I don't like it at all. I'm just saying to you that you must be, not everybody is like you. You can't expect a snake not to bite you. Yeah, but, uh, you know, snake looks like a snake. That looked like a fair fight, and then it wasn't. Um, but anyway. How's that overhand bowler? Off that love touch. Um, no, no, there was a <laughs> That's a good one. Sianda with a takedown. In a bit of a loose half guard here, possibly looking to transition to side control. Oh, no, there's no, there's no, there's no jiu-jitsu on the, on the guy on the back there. What's his name? Spinella. Limited, limited. No, Spinella giving up the side control. Maybe he's got an amazing uh, ground game from there. No, there's hanging off a dear life there. If guys know how to use that fence, it, it, it can be an advantage to him. You see uh, uh, Spinella's climbing the fence with his feet there. If he gets his feet high enough and then bases off, he could actually get a, uh, a sweep here. Could, and he could land on top of the front. Yeah, like but now, turtle now, position. Yeah, but now he's let there. You know, he's, he's just pushed away with his feet. There's an armbar coming. Nice position. Surely. Do you teach armbars at that camp? 
Colson goes to Jiu Jitsu Durban. Well, Lions Den, Lions Den. It's a very, very Ken Shamrock was never big on submission. He was more of an open hand striker. He did go for one or two uh, leg locks in his day, but his brother went for uh, seven or eight more. Were they real brothers, or was one of them adopted? Adopted. Do they like each other? I uh, do not know them personally. I don't think they do. <laughs> Back to the fight in the cage. We've got a turnaround here. Spinello on top. Um, Sienda holding on to what looks like an arm in guillotine from half guard. With no extension of any kind, weight yeah. distribution is wrong. Just basically holding on and uh, looking to control it. Yeah, he's not actually committing to the armbar. You can see there's no actual power and flex there. And like, you wonder how much damage, not, not physical damage from the overhand right, you wonder how much that throws you off your game oh, in, no. in terms of temperament and irritation. Well, it depends, yeah. It might just give you an extra little bit of fire and irritation to... Short time, 10 seconds. We're probably going to see a second round here. Yeah? Yep, second round we're going to see. Red was wild. Must, yeah, if I was the end, I wouldn't touch gloves come second round. Yeah, not great. But like I said, you know, it's within the rule set. Once the referee says fight, you are to protect yourself at all times. The Ringles brought to you by Alan Gondra, Kuruf, Painters and Renovators. Since when, Justin? 1964. On fire, boy. We actually got a good vibe here tonight. Big crowd. I swear. Seconds hey, out. Like round number two. <laughs> Google it. You can see we're all having a good time here. It's nothing like that night out watching some good MMA, some good fights. I wouldn't imagine Sunday night to be any other way. There used to be a movie on Emnet, I believe. There we go, round number two. It's good to have Dario Campos uh, back refereeing for us. He's been hard at work traveling the world. Yeah, experienced guy. Sander Been around a long time, good to see him with some, some cage time again. Sander looking for the takedown, gets the body. He's going to drag it down here. Always worry about knees when that happens. Well, he did eat a knee, but he, he doesn't seem to care. And I'm talking about when knees like that are going to break. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Full mount, fully dominant, lots of time. What are those hooks called? Right now, pointless. No, the, <laughs> your coach calls him something, man. Right, fish hooks. Yes, like great fighting, basically. Great fighting, fish hooks, yeah. Makes it hard for the guy on the bottom to uh, use his legs to, to bridge. It basically makes you, your opponent eat your uh, full weight. Yeah, and you're dropping that hip pressure directly into his side plexus. Not a great... Uh, but it makes it hard for the guy on top to strike as well, Justin, because you can't really posture up. No, no, I agree with you, but it really uh, does quite a hole. There, there's there's an an armor, and it's deep. That looks quite Very nice. Very deep. Oh, he's picking him up, drops him on his head. Uh, is that legal in uh, amateur MMA? No. Spiking, I don't believe it is. No, but it's but it, you're not going to take away the oh, belly down. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Oh, that's not looking good. Come on. Oh, oh, oh we got the wrong way. Surely that must be something wrong with it. He's coming back again, maybe getting on top, finishing with another armbar again. No, there we go. Uh, that's going to be on. There's the tap. There we go. Armbar from five different positions. So, uh, the reason yes, why he uh, didn't stop it is that you don't take the disadvantage, you don't take the advantage away from the fighter who's putting it on. I just wanted to answer your previous question. Does Carlson Gracie Jiu-Jitsu teach armbars? Maybe. Yes. <laughs> It's a great finish there for uh, Sianda and only his uh, third bout, taking his uh, record to two and one. He's got to be happy with that performance. I'm sure there's things you'll look at tightening up uh, during the coming week in camp, but um, a good one nonetheless.
Your winner in a time of 1 minute and 30 seconds in the second round by way of armbar, Sianda Latswa! And uh, very nice victory there, finishing with the armbar. I see you uh, took a little sneaky shot when the glove touched in the beginning. Did that annoy you? Yeah, I knew he was uh, a kickboxer, so I just listened to my coaches, but they told me that I just did. I see you when you had that armbar, you held on to it, you managed to turn it. Did you know you had it? Mm, coach told me, so I did exactly what he did. He said, Congratulations, another good victory.